Yo, G, they can't stop me from rapping, can they? Look, man, it's JB, okay? I'm gonna get real, real serious real quick. If you haven't been watching the news lately, everybody know what happened to the poor boaters. Before I get on that subject, I just want to say that every day I get on my knees and I thank God every single day for waking me up and for another day because of all the stupid stuff I do and all the crazy things I say, I should be dead and gone. I should be dead and gone. I have no right to be here. My life is no better than yours, okay? It just seems like people just seem to put a price tag on everybody's lives and they want to take it that way and run with it. Now, of course, we have uh, four boaters that were missing. One was found, and we still have three others out there that's missing. Will Bleakley, Corey Smith, and then we have, of course, um, Marquise Cooper. So the story that I had enough. The guy said that, the one that was rescued, he said that they all had on their lifeguard jacket, and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, I guess when he woke up after he passed out, they were all gone. And then he came up with another story today, and then he said that he said that they all had on their lifeguard jackets, but they all took it off and they drifted off somewhere. Okay, first off, if I'm in the middle of nowhere, I wouldn't take off my jacket. I can swim, but if I'm in the middle of nowhere, I wouldn't swim. I wouldn't drift off anywhere. I wouldn't take my lifeguard jacket off because it's just not logical. It doesn't make sense to take your jacket off when you know that help is not coming no time soon. Okay, but one thing what I'm very very upset about. The CNN, I'm upset with MSNBC, I'm upset with all the national news channels, and I'm upset with, um, with of course, the U.S. Coast Guard and the government itself. Come on, man. Three damn days. Three days and you're going to terminate it? It's basically like you just swept underneath the rug and you just bust out and say, okay, we don't care if they're living or not. We don't care if they're dead or not. We're going to look for three days and we can't find them. Nobody's paying us. You know, they're not worth anybody. It's not like it's Barack Obama or George Bush out there drowning. We're not going to look for them. We don't really, really care. That's the way I took it. Three days to look for somebody. I mean, miracles happen every single day, man. Week by week, year by year, we see these miracles happen. You know people that lived for over a week before that everybody thought was dead. No disrespect, but remember the girl Natalie Holloway that, that died two years ago that's missed and they haven't found her yet? They spent the whole two years looking for that girl. Casey Anthony. Now, God bless her soul, but, you know, everybody knew in the back of their mind that that girl, little girl was dead. They knew that her mother killed her, but they stayed looking for her, and they just found her a whole year later. I'm just mad, man, because these people are not taking people's lives seriously. It's not being broadcast on the main network and on the main news channel um, like you see all the stupid BS broadcast every single day about a boy slapping his mama or, or a teacher being called the N-word and, and all that kind of stuff. But when he's talking about somebody's life, these people don't seem to take it serious. I mean, let it be Paris Hilton out there in that boat, or let it be somebody else, or like a celebrity or something. They're going to be looking for them until, probably until the world ends. Y'all know that there are the president out there. They'll be looking for them until the world ends itself, too. When you're talking about these three man, man, just because they're like regular people and they're not getting as much attention, you know, I think that's real, real disrespectful. And I feel sorry for their family because, you know, these people are not taking it serious that these are people's lives. What if that was your baby out there drowning? What, was that? what if that was your baby that you invested your whole life in all your tears and teardrops and heartaches and pain into that child and you come to find out that your child is missing and you get a news flash that we're going to terminate the whole situation at 6.30 today because we're getting tired of looking. Now, I understand that there's only so much they can do. It's real big out there, man. That's the Atlantic Ocean. You know what I'm saying? They could be anywhere. They could have drifted off into New Orleans. Something could have ate them. Anything could have happened. But it's just the fact that these people are not attempting enough. Life is so short, man. So just please don't take it for granted. You know, just like I said, I do a lot of a lot of crazy things. And but at the end of the day, I still give thanks to my God that I'm still here, living another day that I can talk to you all and, exp and express myself about every situation about what's going on in life. And I bet you they didn't even know that was gonna be their last time. But they're still out there. Hope is still here. Whatever happened to hope? Isn't this supposed to be the year of hope? And you guys are giving up in three days to look for a body, man? Come on, man. Let's be serious. Let's be serious, man. That ain't cool, man.
that ain't cool at all. I feel so bad for that family. And it's nothing I can really do about it, you know. If I was experienced and everything, I probably would go out there and try to go look for them. But I know just me, I'm just as scared as going that water just like everybody else scared to go in that water. People need to really look back and, and, and stop putting a price tag on all these people and all these celebrities because your life is no better than mine. My life is no better than yours, okay? It's just that we all got different personalities and different characters and stuff to bring to this world as a whole. People are dying, man. You know, my heart goes out to the family, man. My heart goes out. Much love. Jay.